Have you seen it? Have you? I saw it yesterday. Me too. Ah! How it, did you feel? It was really funny because I kind of went in sort of deliriously, sort of like all excited. I'm like, right, I'm going to see the last one. And I was sort of joking around with all my friends and, you know, watched the first third and it was all very sort of funny and gung-ho and everything. And then it just smacked me around the teeth. Mm. Like, I was just not expecting what I saw. It was so much more than I ever expected and uh, just really blew me away. Like, yeah. it's... Uh, it's like epic times four. Like, I don't feel like that word does it justice. Yeah. It's so dramatic. And um, I was crying like a baby by the end. Where are you? <laughs> I was a wreck. Because it's so, there's so much plot and we managed to wrap it up. But were these subtly, like the battle scene as well, you know, everyone was talking about, there's this enormous battle scene. Yeah. And it, it, it was just the perfect time. It wasn't, you know, oh, it could have gone on for, for ages because yeah. it just looked incredible yeah. as well. But everything's just just really beautifully kind of Thank all tied you. up. Yeah, because yeah, I was worried about that. I was sort of thinking, oh, they're going to make it into the sort of like theme park ride, the sort of like action adventure and whatever. But it's got so much heart, mm. which I'm so I'm so yeah. proud of that. And I was also really worried about the 3D. I was like, oh, God, no, you know. It's good. And actually, it's done really elegantly mm -hmm. and subtly, yeah. and it actually just enhances the experience. It doesn't kind of like... Things don't jump out at you, yeah. it brings you into it. It's which the, is... It was the um, the ashes. Yes! That when, was just like, whoa, in, you amazing. felt like you were in it. Yeah, all the looked fragments up. of Voldemort. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, I'm glad we agreed. And the kiss wasn't so bad to oh, watch. Oh, well, thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Good! I felt more kind of awkward watching you and Dan kissing than I did with you and Rupert. Yeah, fine. well, my yeah, dance nice. kiss was full on, so yeah. this was kind of like sort of sweet and, you know. Yeah, good. I, I was doing a bit of research. Is it right that you read the last book you picked up at the airport? Yeah, I did. That's what a great way to read how your character ends. It was traveling somewhere else. <laughs> it was so funny though because because I like I was having a copy sent to me, but I was leaving to go to the airport that morning, and there was no other way I was going to get a copy of it. And I was stood in line with with everyone, and mm. uh, everyone just turned to me and were like, "Are you Emma Watson?" And I was like, yeah. And they're like, well, you should go to the front of the queue then. And I was like, thanks. So this line of people, this huge line of people just like sort of let me go to the front and buy my Harry Potter book. <laughs> it was such a great moment. And they all sort of, it was really like, it was really nice. I loved the camaraderie of that last book coming out because it just felt like the world was yeah. anticipating it. And well, I think people feel that they're part of the school. Yeah. They feel like they're part they of do. the houses and they feel like... You know, because we've grown up with it, as yeah, you guys have as well. It's been amazing it. even doing this junket because journalists come in and they say, you know, oh, this was the first movie that I did this with, and over this ten years, all of this has mm -hmm. happened to me, and like people have been on their own journeys with it, and for it, it's kind of, it's um, I feel like it's emotional for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it's ending. Do you like how she turned out? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> I really do. I was watching it and I was like. I'm so grateful to Joe, obviously, for writing such a strong female character in the first place, but then so thankful to David that he remained so true to that because, like, I don't know whether anyone noticed, but Hermione was, like, by far the best witch out of, like, you know, out of Harry and Ron, even. Like, <laughs> yeah. she was, like, pulling out. If there's ever, like, a difficult spell or whatever, always like, she, Hermione. it was always Hermione. And I was like, yes! Like, she, not only is there equal, but, you know, she's, she's fully... You know, I don't know, I just, I was like watching Transformers last night and I was like, thank God there is Hermione Granger. She's yeah. just so, she's so kick ass. Yeah, she really is. She really is. She really is. Is it, I mean, you know, I, I, I've interviewed you guys from like right through sort of thing. And, yeah. And what's lovely is that you're all still the same as you were oh, from, from the start. Thank and you. And you don't get that a lot of other places when something's so huge yeah. and you've been working in it since you were so young and stuff. Mm. What do you think it is that's kind of kept you It's funny, I've just done a, I just did a movie in Pittsburgh, I did a movie in America, and so I was working with a lot of actors, I guess, who are from Hollywood, and they were all lovely, but it's, and it's, I think it's just the fact that we, we did these films in England, yeah. and there's just a very different mentality, and we, you know, we were kind of in this very protected bubble. We made the films in a studio that just did Harry Potter and there's a group of people that have been around us from the very beginning and watched us grow up and we had that like we had that consistency and um so I think that probably made a difference. You all seem to look after each other as well. Yeah, which is really it's nice. A genuine friendship, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, genuine genuine, you know, camaraderie and um we we really we really care about one another mm. and I think yeah, you got over your Tom Felton crush that. Yeah, by, thank by, by movie three. Yeah. <laughs> by movie three, just about, just about. <laughs>
Um, it's a world of opportunity now, and I know we've yeah. got a couple of movies to look forward to as well. I'm looking for my day with Marlon as well. Yes, yes. I just I adore Marlon and I'm slightly infatuated with her. Yeah, that's. I'm not even sure that's coming out, but done that, and then I've just finished a six-week um, project called The Pucks of Being a Wallflower as yeah. well. So that's really exciting. And uh, so it's this road. This. Yeah, yeah. it is. And it's really funny when I was watching the film. These last two films really required me to act, and. I mean, of course, the other ones did too, but they didn't stretch me and push me in the same way that that they these last two did. And I really, for the first time, felt like I was acting. And like, I was like, wow, with what I've achieved, I really feel. It sounds this sounds silly, but just that I really felt like an actress, and like mm. I could, I could, I don't know that this was the right thing for me to be doing. And because I haven't been sure all the way through, and and now I just want to go and do things that I care about as much as I care about this, and yeah. just keep doing keep doing really special things and seeking them out. Can I ask you one last question from our Radio 1 listener? It's the most yes. popular question they want to ask yes. from Rosie. Yes. Um, if you hadn't been in Harry Potter, yes. what do you think I would be doing yeah, if Potter hadn't come along? Um, I. It's really strange. I, I think I would be teaching, maybe. Um, I think I'd be teaching or maybe I would have found acting in a different way. Yeah. Um, teaching drama? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> nice combo of the two. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, but I think, weirdly, I probably would have... Or I probably would have come to it in the you. end. Yeah. It's really weird. It feels like this was this was my... I'm so cheesy. This <laughs> I'm going to say calling. it under my breath. My calling. <laughs> so pretentious. No. It's, my destiny. Well, you, you know. So, you feel it know. in yourself when, yeah. you, the, when it's right. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, congratulations on this whole amazing adventure thank that we've you. all been on with you as well. Yeah. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you.